What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com continuing our series on learning how to model in SketchUp in 30 days. In today's video, we're gonna create an exploded view model inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna use this shaker style end table with hidden compartments from popular woodworking editors. So you can download this into your model and uh, bring it in if you wanna follow along. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna explode it. And I'm gonna get rid of all of these except one because I really only want the one right here on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out like this. And so what we've got is we've got our table here and we wanna take this and we wanna move it outward with its individual parts. But before we do that, I want to make a copy of it because what we're doing is known as destructive editing, meaning that we're actually moving things around in our 3D space. We wanna make sure that we have a copy of this. So I'm gonna make a group um, before we start moving everything apart so that we're not just destroying our model. I've also seen people just save different versions of this model. And so we're just gonna move this over and we're gonna start very simply by creating our exploded view. Then we'll talk a little bit about how we might create an animation that creates a little bit more of a stylized transition here. But um, creating the exploded view is pretty easy. You just wanna double click inside of the model and for any model that has the parts and pieces modeled separately, like this, this is going to be very simple, right? You're gonna come in here and you're just gonna move the parts and pieces along the axes. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna move this out maybe six inches. I'm gonna take the end piece and move it out six inches, something like that. And I like to keep that uniform distance when I'm doing this, just cause it keeps everything kind of in the same 3D space. So we'll pull these two pieces out six inches as well. And note that on the bottom here, this is more of a sliding shelf right here. So for the sliding shelf, what I might do is I might move that out a little bit further. And so the trick with the exploded views is to move them along the axes so that you can actually see all the various parts and pieces that are in here. So you might need to do a little bit of adjustment in order to get everything to fit in your space. And then for the legs, I'm gonna move them down and I'm gonna move them out. All right, so that I think gave us a pretty good view. And so that was pretty simple. All we did is we just randomly moved the parts and pieces around and that gave us this kind of cool exploded view. Now there are some things you could do if you wanted to like add dotted lines, for example, you could use the uh, tape measure in order to create some guides across here. If you did wanna have some dotted lines running across this, um, that's just kind of a style thing that you can do. Um, the other thing that we can do though, is I wanna create it so that this animates a transition between this table and this table. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use section planes. This is the first time in this series we've really talked about animating section planes. But what we're gonna do is remember how we've talked a little bit about adding scenes. You can get to your scenes by clicking on the scenes button right here. And how, like, let's say for example, that you had a camera view right here and you added a scene, and then you had a second camera view right here, you could click the plus button, and this would animate the transition between those two locations like this. So we've talked about that before, but what we haven't talked about is in addition to animating the transition between camera locations, SketchUp can also animate the transition between section planes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this scene for right now, and let's just create a completely new one. And so what we want is we wanna start right here and we're gonna add a new view. And so in this new view, what we wanna do is we wanna create a section plane right here. And what this section plane is going to do is this is going to allow us to create an animation. So if you look at this, right, we've added one section plane right here. I'm gonna go ahead and update scene one. And we're gonna adjust this in a second. I just wanna show you what this does. So I'm gonna create another copy of the section plane right here that shows this. And then I'm gonna add a new scene and that's gonna be scene two. And so notice that when you click between the two different scenes, SketchUp actually animates the transition between those two section planes, right? So we're animating from here to here. And so your table is coming into existence, right? Well, in this situation, what we want is we wanna create an animation that hides 
this table and shows this table. And so that can be a little bit tricky though, right? Because what we really want is we want a section plane that's going the other direction, that's sectioning out this table. But the problem with that is when we section out this table, it's sectioning everything behind the section plane right here. And what that means is that means that nothing over here is showing either. So what we want to do is we want to use a little trick. And the little trick is we want to put our section planes inside of our objects because right now we can't have multiple section planes active, right? I can only have one active section cut at a time. However, that's not the case if these are inside of separate objects. So if I take these two planes and do a control X, double click inside this object and then right click and paste them in place. Well, now those section planes are only going to section out this object. So if I come in here and I was to reverse the direction on this one, notice how that's only sectioning out things that are inside of that object right there. So what we can do, and again, we're keeping this pretty simple for right now. Um, what we can do is we can start off and we want to reverse this cut and we want to make this our active cut, right? So that's going to be in scene one. So we want to have an active cut over here in scene one. And so we're going to select scene one and we're going to update this like this. And then we want to go to scene two and in scene two, we want to update this. So this is our active cut right here. So we just want to right click on it and click on active cut and we want to update scene two. Well, now if I click on this button, this is going to animate a transition where this object goes away right here. Well, at the same time, what I want to do is I want to have my exploded view in the same location, right? And so for, for my exploded view, I want to double click inside of it and I want to add a different section plane. So I'm going to click in here I'm going to tap the left or right arrow key to lock this to the red axis. And I'm going to create two section planes in here, right? So I'm just going to move this over just like this. And so what I want to do is I want to add a new scene right here. And in my third scene, I want to set this so that my active plane on my new object is over here. So, um, and remember that this is animating the transition between planes. So in scene two, this needs to be the active cut so that in scene three, it transitions over here. And so in scene one, we also want this to be the active cut, but we want this to be completely off. So what I'm going to do, and this is another thing we haven't really talked about. I'm going to create a tag for my exploded view. And I'm going to create a tag for my original view. And so remember, I have two groups in here, right? I have a group for my exploded view and I have a group for my original view. Well, what I want to do is I want to go up into the entity info and I want to put each one of them on their own tag. So we've got our original view right here and we want this one to be on exploded view. Well, what that means is that means that we can save this so that our exploded view object is off. So in scene one, we want our exploded view object to have this active cut and we want our exploded view object to be toggled off. So I'm gonna go ahead and update this view right here. In our second scene, we also want our exploded view to be turned off, right? So we're gonna up update that second scene right here. And we want this transition animation playing as well. And then in the third scene, we want our exploded view turned on like this. And then for the style that we have selected for all of these, we want to go into our settings and we want to turn section planes off and we want to turn our model axes off like this. So now what you have is you have a scene right here that's got just your original view in here. You've got your second scene over here, which is going to hide this object. And then you've got your third scene where your exploded view is going to show up. So now you have an animation animation that's going to play that's going to hide the old version and show the new version. And so working with section planes like this to create animations can take a little bit of practice. So don't get discouraged. Just uh, make sure that you're thinking through it linearly. We'll talk more about this in the next video. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.